In today's video, I'm going to talk about the importance of reprocessing old wildlife photos. You can take an image like this, which you might not be that fond of, and turn it into an image like this, which personally, I like a lot better. So essentially, like with all things, post-processing is one of those things that you get better at over time. Your skills develop, you learn new things, and you begin to develop kind of a style for your images that you like, a look that you want all of your images to have. Now the same idea is true for everything in wildlife photography, from composition to focus to basically anything else. You typically improve as time goes on and your skills develop. But the difference with post-processing is that you can always go back and redo it. You can't go back in time and reshoot a photo for a better composition or move to a better position for a better lighting angle now that you know more about lighting and images. You can't go back in time and redo that. But you can always go back and reprocess your images. And I'm gonna show you how reprocessing some of my images has really helped to turn photos that I wasn't so fond of into photos that I'm really happy to have in my portfolio today. So let's jump straight into it by first taking a look at this image that I took of a great gray owl in Yellowstone National Park. Now this image isn't necessarily a bad image. Um, I've got good focus on the owl there, got a nice blurred background, um, got a generally a background that contrasts in color and makes the owl stand out some. And this was the first version of this image that I post processed all the way back in May of 2021 when I first took the image and I just really felt like there were things that I can improve upon. So after about six or seven months last fall, um, you know, I'd improved a lot as a photographer and uh, my post-processing skills had developed in a lot of ways. And so I decided to go back in and reprocess this photo to see if I can make it better. And um, you can see here that I have the new version of this photo and I think that this is a much, much better version of the exact same file. And you can see that when you compare these two, despite the fact that they are the exact same file, they feel like two totally different images. And this is what is so powerful about reprocessing. You can literally take a file that you've used in the past that you know you might not be that happy with and turn it into something totally different with an entirely different feel that you really like in your portfolio today. And uh, that is what I've done with this photo. Basically, I was not happy with this. It's too punchy and uh, doesn't really represent the style that I'm going for very well. And by taking what I had learned in the six or seven months since I took this photo and reprocessing it, I was able to create a photo that I'm really happy with and would hang on my wall. Let me interject here to briefly remind you all that I'm gonna be giving away a free trip to Yellowstone National Park to photograph wildlife in the fall of 2022. Gonna be announcing some more details on this soon, but all you have to do to be able to enter is to be a subscriber to the channel. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get back to the video. So reprocessing has really helped in this instance. And just taking a look at another example of this here, this is of a grizzly bear that I photographed in Wyoming in May. And uh, much like the great gray owl photo, I took this photo and processed it all the way back in May. And um, while I love the photo, it just didn't really capture the feel that I was going for. It wasn't exactly what I wanted. And so about seven months later, I decided um, to take everything I'd learned since then about post-processing and about photography and to reprocess the photo. And I was able to come out with this image, which I like so much better. Um, I've subdued a lot of those colors, those purple hues in it, made it feel a lot more realistic and just feel a lot better and softer on the eyes. And overall have created an image that I feel is a lot more appealing to the viewer. Um, now, obviously this is all up to personal preference. You know, you may like this original edit better um, while I like this edit better. It's all subjective. But the point is, oftentimes people will take a photo, process it once, and never return to it again. They leave it as it is in their portfolio. Um, say, for example, they got a photo of a great gray owl and uh, they processed it and they don't really like their old version. Instead of reprocessing the old version, a lot of times people will go out and shoot an owl and just process it the way they like now. And there's nothing wrong with this at all. We should always be taking new wildlife images and processing those and improving our skills in that way. But I think that you're not maximizing your portfolio if you're doing this. You're missing out on great photos that you took in the past just because the processing is no good. As long as the composition, the focus, and the lighting are there, you can go back in and take old photos that you're not that fond of, reprocess them, and end up with a photo that holds up to your current standards of what you want your photos to look like today. You can take old photos and just breathe new life into them and create basically an entirely different photo with an entire different feel and save old photos just by reprocessing. So that is the point of today's video. I just wanted to remind you guys to go back into your old files sometime whenever you get some free time on your hands, look over them, pick out your favorite ones and reprocess them. And I would almost guarantee that you'll find some photos in there that you weren't originally that fond of that now upon reprocessing them, you're pretty darn happy with. So pretty short video today, but before I close this out, I do want to remind you guys to subscribe for that 1000 subscriber Yellowstone trip giveaway. Um, also, if you wouldn't mind to drop a comment down below, let me know what you you all thought and uh, drop a like as well that really helps the channel out with that guys that's it for this video thank you all so much for watching this i really do hope you guys have enjoyed this and i found it helpful and um, i will see you all in the next video